Hey everybody, Terry Daniel here. I'm going to take you on a little tour of my studio today. As you can see, my uh, best friend in the world just loves it in here. What do you think you're doing? Can you go over here for a second? <laughs> All right. Here's the fort right here. Pretty cozy. Probably looks a lot larger on video than it is uh, in person. But uh, right here, this is a dynamic microphone. I would never do it to, uh, I would never use this for a regular voiceover job. But this is a great mic for, for the singing that I do. Or if I have a guitar player, an acoustic guitar player come in, they can, can, they can use this as well. So that works pretty well for that. And this wouldn't be the proper tour if I didn't, uh, if I didn't show off my Guinness clock. So I'm going to keep the camera there for a couple of minutes because I know you're all in awe of this <laughs> Guinness clock. This is RLX on the wall. This deadens, dampens the sound, whichever word you want to use there. Turn the lights up just a little bit. Um, it's, this studio is, does really well acoustically all by itself, but this really helps. Uh, you can get this at Sweetwater.com, uh, Guitar Center, usually around 20 bucks a square. If you want to get something similar that will help dampen the sound, you can go get some of that egg crate mattress material at Target or like a Walmart or something, and it's a lot cheaper and you can get rolls of it. The only problem is it kind of smells a little bit. But uh, this, is, uh, this is the current setup. Now, the love of my life right here, the Neumann TLM-103. Used to be about twelve hundred bucks. Now you can get it for somewhere between nine hundred and a thousand bucks. I use this thing for anything, any kind of commercial or narration that I do. So uh, that's fantastic. Great mic. Up here is my processor. This is a, uh, a DBX two eighty six A. It's got a compressor built right in it. I don't need to go into what every dial does, but this basically powers the mic, and this is plugged in to the USB powered mixer. So that's uh, it's a pretty good audio chain. It's worked really well for me. Let me turn on my additional video light here. And you can see the, uh, the processor is plugged in right here. There's my mic level right here. There is an EQ, an additional, uh, additional EQ right there that I kind of mess around with. So um, this works really well for me. And then of course on the computer screen is Adobe Audition 3.0. I've been using this software ever since Cool Edit Pro came out. I'm just, I'm very comfortable. Everybody has their favorite software. I'm biased. I think this one's the best. Uh, and I've used this one, SoundForge, Pro Tools. I'm just really comfortable with Adobe Audition 3.0. And I know there's talents out there that will back me up on that. Um, so this is pretty much the setup. Turn this up. Kind of an annoying light. Really, really comfortable spot. There are weeks that I spend about 70 hours in here. And that is it right there. By the way, this right here is a mag. It's a reel-to-reel -reel mag. This was my final radio show with uh, my good friend, Carr Hagerman. We did a lot of movie reviews. We basically were the entertainment reporters for a station called Cafe 105 in Eden Prairie. And this is the last show. I just put it on the wall because I thought it was cool. And it's a good memory of uh, what I thought was the best station ever. So <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the tour of the studio, and I will talk to you later. Take care, everybody.